you are welcome to today's video lesson with bright edo in today's lesson i'll be discussing about the introductory aspects to organic chemistry now this must be noted the most important element that must be noted when studying organic chemistry is simply called carbon okay carbon is one of the most important element that must be noted when studying organic chemistry and you already know that carbon as an element is symbolized with the symbol c and this must be noted carbon is a tetravalent element carbon is a tetravalent element meaning that it has four valence electron now this is what i mean okay carbon is a tetravalent element meaning that it has what four valence electron you can see the valence electron now around carbon as an element so carbon has four valence electron that means carbon can form four bonds okay so it has four valence electron means that this element carbon can form four bonds so with this let us quickly move over to ways we can represent an organic molecule so with this we have four important ways an organic compound or molecule can be expressed and the first way is simply called the molecular formula now let's take an example using this compound c3 h8 now first of all we don't even need to know the name of this compound all that matters is for we to be able to write out all these formulas of this molecule which is c3h8 now how do we write the structural formula of this molecule recall i said carbon is tetravalent that means allowing just four bond to surround itself so with this now you can see how many carbons are we having we're having three carbons in this compound so for we to write the structural formula we simply first of all write carbon bonding to carbon and bonding to another carbon because we're having how many carbons three carbons now moving further you can see we've written out the number of carbon atom in the molecular formula so for we to get our structural formula we simply use the molecular formula which is now c3h8 now how many carbon atom are we having we are having how many three carbon atom which i've written now now it must be noted that i said initially that a particular carbon atom is what tetravalent that means it allows four bond to surround itself so with this we have to basically put all the bonds okay bond another bond another bond now looking at this carbon now it is complete the not the the, the the total number of bond that should surround this particular carbon atom is complete because we are four now there are four now one two three four okay now moving over to this carbon atom at the center how many bond do you think i should draw it's just two because here you can see two bonds already surrounding this carbon that is found at the center so it's now complete and lastly for here is basically three okay because if you check this carbon atom now checking all together we have four uh, uh, bonds surrounding this carbon to the right hand side so you can see now everything is okay so we can now fill this place of our hydrogen now how many hydrogen are we having eight atoms of hydrogen so h h h h h h h and h now with this this is the is the structural formula for this molecular formula which is an organic compound now moving over to the condensed structural formula how do we write the condensed structural formula for we to write the condensed structural formula we simply use the structural formula now this is how it goes now if you check to the left hand side here which is this carbon atom how many hydrogen is it uh, uh, occupying is occupying three hydrogen atom so with this we simply write this carbon atom first so c and how many hydrogen is it occupying three so it becomes ch3 okay we've written for this now what's the next carbon atom another c but how many carbon hydrogen atom is he uh, occupying it is basically two so it be becomes ch2 and lastly for this other part was the last ch3 so you can see how to write the condensed structural formula work in a particular molecule or in a particular organic compound now with this let us quickly go over to the skeletal formula now for we to write the skeletal formula we have to be careful with how the compound is expressed now if we check initially to which the compound the express we have how many uh, carbon atom we have three carbon atom now for we to write the skeletal skeletal formula is like saying the line diagram of that particular compound so how do we do this now this 
concept must be noted now you can see we have how many uh, carbon atom here we have three so for we to write the line diagram or the skeletal formula of this compound we are to draw just uh, two lines now this is what i mean we have three so we reduce the number of what we have to draw which i will explain to two lines so for instance we are having four carbon atom here how many lines are we drawing three lines now look at what i mean since we are having three carbon here we are drawing two lines so for the skeletal formula it's going to be something like a particular line and a particular line so this particular compound be drawn is same as this same as this and same as this but to be sure of drawing this particular compound correctly at each junction or at every junction we have carbon atom now let's check if we are to get the three carbon atom we are having lately for all these other forms to which this molecular formula can be expressed now at each junction i said we have what carbon atom so at this junction we have in carbon at this same junction we have another carbon and lastly at this junction we are having another carbon atom so with this you can see we've uh, filled in all the carbon atoms according to the molecular formula now let us fill in for the hydrogen atom but for, before we do that we have to make sure that the carbon atom here they obey tetravalency in the sense that all the carbon atom should basically occupy four bonds now this is what i mean now checking this carbon how many bonds do you think is surrounding this carbon in this case now looking at it it's just one because i'm having just one carbon bonding to this other carbon so how many bonds are we adding to make sure that it is tetravalent just three because here we are having one so me putting another bond here another bond here and another bond here will make this carbon to be tetravalent yes one two three four now let's check for this carbon atom it is very easy now looking at this carbon how many carbon how many bonds do you think is surrounding this carbon two bonds you can see it here so basically how many bonds do you think i should add to make sure that this carbon here is tetravalent just all that two bonds so the two bonds will be up here so you can see how it actually works now you can see that this carbon is not tetravalent allowing four bonds one two three four now lastly for this carbon this carbon should work in this pattern so right now we have to just basically add our uh, bonds here to make sure that this carbon or uh, this carbon atom is tetravalent now on this let us fill with our hydrogen atom so in this place we have to write h h h h h h h and h so with this you can see that we are having eight hydrogen atom and three carbon atom now what did i say initially for we to be able to write the skeletal formula of a compound so easily we have to basically look at our molecular formula and how many carbon atom are found in the molecular formula so when you are to draw this you reduce the line you are drawing by one according to what you're having here so here was three so how many lines did i draw i drew two lines one two so for instance here was uh, for instance here is four because you'll be solving the next uh practice question so for instance here is four how many lines do you think we'll draw we'll draw three we'll just say one two and three so you walk in that direction so get ready for your own practice question and do well to solve with your own notebook and make sure you master these aspects so guys this is the practice question you will be solving and provide the answer in your own notebook so with this let us quickly progress on the introductory aspects of organic chemistry now this set of compounds being discussed they are called hydrocarbons now this must be noted this set of compounds being discussed about are called what hydrocarbons that means they they contain what now carbon and hydrogen they are called what hydrocarbons now to this now hydrocarbons can be classified into three aspects based on the number of bonds that is found between the carbon atoms now this is what i mean now let's say this is a particular hydrocarbon and we have just a single bond that connects the two carbon atoms this hydrocarbon will be called an alkane okay this hydrocarbon will be called an alkane but when we also have a particular hydrocarbon that contains a carbon carbon double bond this particular hydrocarbon will be called an alkene okay and lastly a particular hydrocarbon that contains carbon carbon triple bond this particular hydrocarbon will be called an alkyne so all of this must be noted and it must be noted that alkanes when it comes to their hybridization they are sp3 hybridized alkenes when it comes to their hybridization they are sp2 hybridized and lastly for alkynes 
they are sp when it comes to their hybridization so all this must be noted about the introductory aspect of organic chemistry there's still more to learn about organic chemistry so do well to hit the subscribe button to this video and share these videos with your friends whereby new video lessons will be out under this aspect thank you very much and god bless you all